gently stimulating a tiny structure in your ear for just three minutes could reset your entire blood pressure regulation system more effectively than any medication. Today, I'm about to reveal what might be the most overlooked, neurologically powerful, and surprisingly simple way to hack your cardiovascular regulation system. We're talking about vestibular stimulation, the blood pressure reset button hiding literally right beside your brain. This is not your typical health advice. So let's start with some mind-blowing neuroscience. Your vestibular system, a house deep in your inner ear, isn't just for balance and spatial orientation. It's directly wired to your brain's cardiovascular control centers. The research coming out of Harvard Medical School and the University of California is absolutely stunning. Your vestibular system has direct neural connections to your brainstem's autonomic control centers, specifically the nucleus tractus solitarius, which regulates your blood pressure moment by moment. A groundbreaking study published in the Journal of Neurophysiology found that specific vestibular stimulation patterns could actually modulate the blood pressure by 8 to 12 points almost instantaneously by recalibrating baroreceptor sensitivity. Now, I know that's a lot of scientific information, but think about it. That tiny organ in our ears can actually control blood pressure. How is this not common knowledge? When your vestibular system receives specific stimulation, it triggers immediate recalibration of baroreceptor sensitivity, normalization of sympathetic nervous system output, enhanced parasympathetic tone, improved cerebral blood flow autoregulation, reduced neural input to the adrenal system. All this from just three minutes of specific ear stimulation techniques. Yes, and I'm absolutely serious. What scientists have discovered is that something called the vestibular cardiovascular reflex, a powerful neural circuit that directly connects your sense of position and movement to your blood pressure control systems. You see, when your brain needs to rapidly adjust blood pressure whenever you change positions, like standing up quickly to ensure consistent blood flow to your brain, this vestibular cardiovascular connection evolved to prevent you from fainting every time you stood up from lying down. It's an ancient, powerful regulator system that works automatically. But here's the breakthrough. We can intentionally stimulate this pathway to reset blood pressure regulation that's become dysfunctional. See, a fascinating study from the University of Leeds demonstrated that patients with treatment-resistant hypertension experienced an average 12 points reduction in systolic pressure after just two weeks of daily vestibular stimulation. The most studied technique is called galvanic vestibular stimulation, short for GVS, which uses very mild electrical current behind the ears to activate vestibular neurons. Now, NASA and military researchers have been studying this for decades to counter orthostatic intolerance in astronauts and pilots. The research shows precise stimulation can enhance better receptor sensitivity by up to 30%, improve heart rate variability significantly, normalize blood pressure fluctuations, and reduce stress hormone output. But here's what's really fascinating. Even non-electrical stimulation methods show significant benefits. And based on all this research, I've developed a simple three-minute protocol anyone can do at home without specialized equipment. Here are the three most effective techniques. Number one, caloric vestibular stimulation. So place a cool, not cold, compress against your mastoid bone just behind your ear. Hold for 30 seconds on each side. Repeat twice for a total of two minutes. Now this gentle temperature change stimulates the semicircular canals, activating the vestibular neurons that connects to your cardiovascular control centers. Number two, positional stimulation. So sit comfortably and tip to your head 45 degree to the right. Hold for 20 seconds, return to center, then tilt 45 degree to the left. 
hold for 20 seconds, repeat three times for about two minutes total. Now this sequence activates different parts of your vestibular system, creating a comprehensive reset signal. Number three, pressure point activation. Now using your index finger, apply gently pressure to the targus, which is a small cartilage flap at your ear canal entrance. Move in small clockwise circles for 30 seconds. Repeat on the opposite ear. Total time is one minute. Now, this stimulates the auricular branch of the vagus nerve, which has direct connections to your cardiovascular control centers. So the full protocol takes just five minutes. Two minutes of caloric stimulation, two minutes of positional stimulation, one minute of pressure point activation. And for optimal results, perform the sequence first thing in the morning, mid-afternoon around 3 p.m., and of course, before bed. So that's the total daily investment of 15 minutes for potentially dramatic improvements in your blood pressure regulation. So now the benefits of vestibular stimulation extend far beyond the blood pressure. One, improved balance and fall prevention. See, regular vestibular activation enhances uh, proprioceptions and reduced fall risk, especially in older adults. Two, enhanced cognitive function. See, research shows improved spatial memory and attention following vestibular stimulation. Three, reduced anxiety. See, the vestibular autonomic connection can directly calm an overactive sympathetic nervous system. Four, migraine prevention. Several studies show vestibular stimulation can reduce migraine frequency by stabilizing neural activity. So here's a quick quiz for you. How much can regular vestibular stimulation improve baroreceptor sensitivity? A, 5 to 10 percent. B, 15 to 20 percent. C, 25 to 30 percent. Or D, over 35 percent. So if you've guessed C, you're right. Research shows improvements of 25 to 30 percent in beta receptor sensitivity, which directly correlates with better blood pressure regulation. So now let's go a level deeper to understand why this works so well. So your beta receptors are specialized stretch sensors in your carotid arteries and aortic arch that monitor blood pressure continuously. See, in many people with hypertension, these sensors become less sensitive over time. They essentially reset to accept higher pressures as normal. The stimulus simulation appears to recalibrate those sensors, restoring their proper sensitivity and improving the entire feedback loop that regulates your blood pressure. A fascinating study from the American Journal of Physiology showed that just two weeks of vestibular stimulation improved beta receptor sensitivity by 28% in hypertensive patients, an improvement typically only seen after months of intensive exercise training. Now, for those following our previous videos, here's where things get really exciting. When you combine vestibular stimulation with our isometric hand grip protocol, you create a powerful synergistic effect. The optimal sequence, vestibular stimulation protocol, five minutes, brief relaxation period, one minute, isometric hand grip training, eight minutes. This sequence creates a neurological mechanical one-two punch. Vestibular stimulation primes your beta receptors and autonomic regulation. Isometric exercise then creates the perfect mechanical stimulus. Together, they optimize both the control system and the vascular response. So the combined protocol will produce up to 40% greater improvement in regulatory stability than either intervention alone. It's like fine-tuning both the thermostat and upgrading the heating system in your house at the same time. So as powerful as this technique is, there are some important considerations. If you have known vestibular disorders for or inner ear problems, consult a specialist first. If you experience uh, dizziness that persists more than a few seconds, definitely stop immediately. 
Never use electrical stimulation without proper medical guidance and continue taking prescribed blood pressure medication. Therefore, we can work back and forth with your doctor. And if you had a peacemaker or cardiac condition, let's get some medical clearance first. But for most people thought these simple non-invasive techniques are extremely safe and potentially game changing for your whole cardiovascular health. So your challenge, try the basic vestibular protocol once daily for just one week. Track your blood pressure before and after and see what happens. I'm confident many of you will notice meaningful changes. So drop a comment with balance if you're going to try this protocol or if you've experienced benefits from vestibular exercises in the past. In my next video, I'll reveal how to combine all three of our revolutionary techniques, isometric training, vestibular stimulation, and target breathing into one comprehensive protocol that takes just 20 minutes per day. Plus, I'll share the advanced tracking metrics that can help you quantify your process. You won't want to miss this complete system. And of course, don't forget to hit subscribe and that notification bell to join our cardiovascular optimization revolution. Remember, sometimes the most powerful interventions are hidden in plain sight. So until next time, this is Maurice, your clinician, finding balance and zooming out. Oh, and if you're feeling a little dizzy after all this information, well, now you know exactly how to fix it.